Hello, good evening. Thank you for being here to a night of percussion with Valley Middle School Percussion Ensembles and the Apple Valley High School Percussion Ensemble. We're gonna start with our seventh graders from Valley Middle School. We have one really, really tall seventh grader back there who's filling in for a sixth member of the group, but please welcome them. Toby Mitchell, and uh, uh, one, of, one of the uh, musicians in this group. Uh, no, but thanks again uh, for being here tonight. Uh, it's always great, just like I said last night, the jazz concert to be over here. Um, and, and then this is really cool because the percussionists really get to play in a place that kind of high, really highlights their, their sound and, and good sight lines and everything. They're not just sitting at the back of the band. So um, thank you, Corey. And uh, I know Dave's back there and Cliff Dodge is back there. Thank you for hosting us and, and having us over here. So um, our, our final piece uh, for the seventh grade percussion ensemble this evening, evening is Howl of the Groove King. And many of you all recognize what that is coming from. So um, just uh, I'd like to note here, we had on that last uh, piece, Archer Roars was on drum set. He had several solos in there. Charlie Gustafson on this one. And this next piece. He's got some of on that one. We got Evan Meyer right here. And then of course, Chester Walker.
Yeah, so the next one, uh, everybody will recognize that under the seat. Um, I was talking to the high school kids before here, and uh, we were talking about a uh, shaker part that we were going to add in, and, and we didn't. And then um, Tyler Collins, I think, said that he would do it. So I said, well, you'd have to dress up in a mermaid costume. <laughs> he said he would do it, actually. So that, uh, <laughs> I saw Broadway, and that was, yeah, you had some good costumes there. So. All right, so here we go, under the seat.
you. So this is the Apple Valley Percussion Ensemble. And we practice one day a week after school for an hour and a half. And it's, it's a time where we can use our percussionists and develop their skills and make them stronger mouth players and stronger snare players. Uh, but it also gives them a chance to shine. And a lot of the band literature is, tends to focus a lot on wind instruments. And so by doing percussion ensemble and working in a smaller group, it gives our other students a, a chance to shine as well. Um, the first piece that we did, I did as a summer project. I'm like, hey, this would be a great song to make as a percussion ensemble piece. And so I sat down one week and I just arranged the, the last piece that we just played. We're gonna totally switch over and do non-mallet things. And this is a piece where we've worked on to develop our snare skills. And it's definitely a piece that I think all of our percussionists back behind me are stronger snare players now because we're, we worked on this piece. Um, it's for originally for five part snare drums that I've incorporated into to 12. Here's a song called Bling Bam. Now, that might have looked easy to you. 
It's really not. It takes a lot of time to develop your skills so that 12 people can all be totally under control and totally do the same thing at the same time. And that took us a lot of time to be able to just perfect all of those moves in there. And as I said earlier, it's just all of us are better players just from going through just that last song for sure. The next song we're gonna play for you is a relatively new percussion ensemble piece. The composer, Francisco Perez, is a percussion instructor at Northwest State University, which is in Louisiana. And he wrote this piece during that horrible spring of 2020 when we were all locked down and COVID and then was inspired by the things that were happening around the uh, Black Lives Matter movement. And so he wrote this piece called Fierza Negra uh, to show uh, the strength and community of people coming together and working through diversity. Um, it's a really modern feel to it uh, for percussion ensemble, and uh, I think you're gonna really enjoy the grooves to this piece.
piece we're going to do for you is a project. It's like a tour de force in Mallets. Uh, it's about nine minutes long. It's, it's that epic. And it, it just has everything you can possibly think of. You start out the piece and we're in a time signature of 5-4, which is not that common of a time signature to, to go into five. And then you're gonna see parts of the song where the marimba players are rotating and changing positions. And then you'll see parts of players like playing on untraditional parts of the marimbas, like the resonators underneath or the side pieces. Uh, there's a solo section in the middle, a four mallet solo that's done by Bryson Flake. And the end is like lightning. It just goes and goes and goes and goes. And it will seem like their mallets are on fire by the time that they get to this. Now, middle school, seventh and eighth graders, when you see the end of this, I don't want you to be like intimidated at all. When we started to work on this, we played this like super slow for many months before we got it to this point, but their mallets are going so quick at the end, it looks like fire. This is a piece called Stubernick.
to the percussion ensemble evening. Thanks everybody, have a good evening.